uh, nag-create na siya ng uh, private army, sir. Paano po napunta sa ganitong sitwasyon? That was my question also. Muna yung akong pangutanan sa iya, pero meron nagkita may gabi eh. O sa iyang asawa. Nga naman, nagpalit mo ng daghang pusil. Kung sama mo, sukol mo sa gobyerno. Nga naman, o karon, doon ay nangamatay. Doha, o gang sa uh, critically wounded. Kisa may mutabagaan ng uh, 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 sala. O, di ba? So, sabi ko, you have graduated from uh, scammer or estapador into a murderer. Kasi you are prepared to die. With this kind of firearms, but uh, of course, uh, with the superior strategy and training of my men. Alam niyo ba yung operation na nangyari? Parang uh, beach landing, parang World War II. Kasi napaka secluded ng lugar, tapos we can only approach from the sea, not from the road. And we have to walk several kilometers under the cover of darkness, gabi, eh, niyabot may buntag na. So... Uh, as you can see, even one of these light machine gun na nagamit na sakto, daghan man ma mga matay na sundalo ko o uh, police o coast guard. So sa ako yung nangunta na sa iya, nga naman nag-assemble nag mo ng mga ingani, kadako na kusog ng mga armas o mga tao o doon na pa'y namatay. Eh, ministro ka ka ako, di ba? Ministro, you're supposed to be spreading the love, the word of God. Uh, love thy neighbor Ana, ana Nga ano man Ay siya na yung makatubag ninyo Ayan sir uh, In this press concern Hindi po ba pwede si Apolinari matanong sir? Hindi po May right siya eh uh, Karon, giprocess lang niya sila deha Pero kung uh, uh, Bago namin i-transfer sila sa ilang investigation room Kung mutubag siya Nasa iyan na to Yes sir Follow up ko lang po sir Sir, uh, pwede po ba malaman po natin, uh, kunting senaryo lang po sir, during the raid ng uh, tauhan po natin, uh, ano po senaryo? Uh, nanlaban po sila? May, ba, may nangyari ba talagang bakbak? I have my ground commander here, uh, Colonel uh, Roger Quisada, who is my deputy regional director uh, for operation. Uh, he was the ground commander, ang spearhead ay itong si Colonel uh, Hill Toralba. Of course, ang ating uh, yun sa tropa, si Captain Edward Cantano, and uh, the Coast Guard. Ito talaga malaki pagod, ano? Uh, ano ba ang rago mo? Commander? Ensign Nieto. Anong first name? Uh, Christian. Of course, kilala nyo. Itong ating uh, RMG, si uh, Olya Ging. Uh, siya ang uh, do sa uh, uh, complement ng uh, RMFB. And of course, hindi matatawaran ang ating uh, uh, SAP Commander. Nandun din sila. At uh, laki hirap niyan. Uh, can you introduce your team leaders, Chris? Sir, uh, I'm uh, Police Lieutenant Colonel uh, Christopher Mendoza, the Battalion Commander of the 1st Special Action Battalion of the PNP Special Action Force. With me during the operation is uh, my deputy, Police Major Ernesto Atiga Jr., My uh, company commander of the uh, 11 Special Action Company, Police Captain Joe Marquilang. My uh, company commander of the uh, 14th Special Action Company, Police Major Tan Bulaglag. My uh, company commander of the 15th Special Action Company, Police Major uh, Jing Alarcon. And my uh, two lieutenants. Lieutenant Obiena and uh, Lieutenant Isip. We are uh, all together during the operation, together with the uh, RMFB, with the Coast Guard, with the RSOG, and uh, other operatives of the uh, Police Regional Office 13. Of course, sa uh, ating command group, uh, sa support, ang uh, head natin dyan, ang ating DRDA, Police Brigadier General uh, Jimmy Lee Macaraeg, ang dakilang abala ang ating PCRS, uh, Colonel Jerry Portasio. Now, I will give you on what is the operational condition during the uh, implementation of the warrant of arrest and the search warrant. Nandito ang ating uh, DRDO, Colonel Roger Quisada. Uh, magandang uh, umaga po sa ating lahat. Ano? Itong uh, Itong uh, operation na ito ay talagang combined effort po ito ng ating PNP, ng, uh, of course, yung SAP, uh, uh, Coast Guard, 
and then uh, with the support of the Philippine Army ano so yung lugar talaga talaga napakasikluded malayo so we have to use uh, sea vessels transport po yung uh, sa proper natin from this lake going to Lingig travel time about uh, more or less 4 hours so during that the, the whole night nagka-travel yung tropa then the approach Kumapusta by Beachland and the other group of uh, of uh, Colonel uh, o Laging inapros namin dito sa dito sa harapan sa main gate. So sabay po yan na pumasok. Um, unfortunately, lumaban po yung nasa yung yung uh, tao niya dito sa by beach landing zone. So doon po nagka, nagka nagkaroon ng uh, bakbakan. So dalawa, dalawang tao yung uh, Uh, yes, sir. Anyone? Thank, thank you so much, sir. Of course, sila, sila. Hindi naman magpapaputok yung tropa natin kung wala silang uh, walang putok na nagagalit sa kalabot. Next question, Joy di, Joy di Kamutan. Magandang araw po uh, sa lahat ng mga ating mga magigiting na mga PNP. Sir, uh, sa ginagawa niyong initial investigation, pa, paano nila na ito puslit itong mga sangkatutak na baril at saan nila na ito nabili? Uh, that is the subject of our investigation. Uh, as you can see, in the first place, it was only an information. So we have verified and uh, by several sources uh, from within and without that there exists a group of people roaming around and believed to be Kappa members. That was the only report, Kappa members. So, uh, it went to the process of uh, validation. So, after that, uh, we have executed. Talagang, it's a long, long procedure of surveillance and the processing of information. We have to recruit uh, our uh, assets And of course, uh, ang tulong ng ating NICA on the IT side of the uh, signal intelligence, uh, hindi matatawaran. So it resulted, at, and of course, the planning and the execution talagang uh, uh, maingat na pinagplanuhan to. Dahil kaya nga, walang casualty dun sa atin. At minimal din ang casualty sa kanila kasi madali ding silang uh, nasubdue. Otherwise nga, sabi ko sa inyo, kung nakaputok ng todo itong lahat-lahat ng params na to, eh maraming uh, mamamatay. So that is the testament to the level of professionalism ng ating mga tropa dito sa Karaga. Not only the PNP, but to include our uh, brothers in the Coast Guard and in the Armed Forces. Kaya meron tayong na-accomplish na ganitong kalaki. Sana po uh, malaman namin uh, sa takbo ng investigation nyo dahil... Uh, para yung taong bayan hindi magdudal baka tapo mayroong uh, tubo dito magdudal sa government site na nagbenta ng baril yes uh, that would be part definitely a part of investigation so far the main part here is the implementation of warrant of arrest and the implementation of the search warrant leading to a positive result that is our primary investigation but i have as the chief have instructed I'm already uh, uh, creating a special uh, investigation task group to be led by the DRDO as the uh, task, uh, special task group commander. Uh, so we will invite the CIDG, the crime lab, uh, the intelligence community to get to the bottom of things and to provide assistance to other complainants who may have uh, right to claim uh, their money on how to go about it, uh, I'm designating, again, uh, Police Colonel Roger Quesada as the Special Investigation Task Group Apolinario, Kapa. So that uh, all complaints pertaining to uh, the activity of the said group, both the international and the one that was created here in this league and Jensen, uh, General Santos City, and uh, will be addressed. So later on, we will come up with the hotline so that uh, our people can talk to them and schedule uh, whatever uh, uh, legal assistance or initial police action that we can provide because as I've said, 
uh, uh, this group of Apolinario have victimized really quite a number of people here in Mindanao and some of the very store are from even from Visayas and Manila. So, duly noted and uh, we will uh, do this. One last question, uh, sir. Uh, Apolinario is facing a syndicated stop. What about his, uh, this uh, private army? What age uh, that is uh, bukod dun sa iyang warrant of arrest, no bail, sa syndicated stapa, tapos sa illegal possession of firearms of, uh, and explosive, he will be also charged with direct assault and illegal association. And we are also looking into uh, if there is additional case because people died. These people who died must be attributed to somebody and since he gave the order, to amass these firearms and uh, fire upon the law enforcer, uh, he is liable. Thank you, sir. Next is uh, from, from Love Radio, Martin D. Bernard Panisalis. Yes, sir, from Nets TV and Love Radio. My question is, uh, there are some informations nga, uh, nakuha namin no, sa online that wala raw uh, nangyari na ano wala raw nangyayaring bakbakan at uh, may negotiation daw at uh, sabi pa niya na hindi totoo na inaristo but sumurender daw so can you clarify on this uh, mga lumalabas na ganitong uh, uh, classic information sino ba yung source mo pwede ko bang kunan ng statement yan Ya yeah, mga uh, yung mga ano lang I, I don't know kung mga supporter sila uh, or... Siyempre as a reporter you're responsible. Yes sir. Before uh, you put up any issue you have check. Yes sir. Your meron, resources. Meron ho kami uh, sir. Sino kukuhanin ako na statement if that uh, allegation is true we will investigate it but as I said the moment na nakita yung tropa natin uh, we were part upon and uh, but they surrender later on. Eh, okay. talaga naman yung iba, nakakita lang ng picture eh. Sabihin eh, sumarender na eh. Yeah, tama, tama. So, if there is a truth to what he is alleging, come forward and stand by your word. I will investigate. Sign for it. That's the problem with fake news. Okay. So, so wag, may... wag tayong basta-basta naniniwala na may sinabing ganon. Wala naman sa area, nakakita ng isa dalawang picture, eh, yeah. nakonclude niya na. Okay. Na hindi lumaban. Was he there? Okay. If that person were there, eh, he is a reliable. Oh. Sabi Ito na mismo eh. Sila natanungin mo dyan eh. Sila mismo eh. eh. Bakit ka naman lumaban? Eh talagang lalaban ako. So yan ang sinasabi natin. Let us be responsible of entertaining fake news. That is a fake news. Sir, lumaban eh. Nakita mo ba yung power, power na yan? Pagka ba humawak ka niyan, ibig sabihin niyan, hindi ka lalaban? This is the mere possession of these firearms. Is your arm to the teeth? And wala nang makakapagsabi na hindi lalaban ito. Di sana toothpick ang hawak nila, hindi lumaban. So, I suggest people to be responsible. May nakita lang kayong picture, isa dalawang picture dyan eh, kung ano na ang pinagsasabi nyo. Nakita nyo itong firearms na to? Alam ka naman nilaglag ng pulis to. O, pag ganitong karaming firearms, wala ka ba intention lumaban? So, that's my answer to that. And he if he is true to this word, take a number of this media I would like to take the statement of that person alleging uh, that uh, ganyan I will investigate that I do not tolerate Indeed. execution style uh, operation so I will investigate take the number and uh, we will get the statement alright sir uh, go ahead second question sir is about sa itong nag complain do we have uh, uh, complainants here in uh, pakilapit lang yung bibig mo sa mic yung ano uh, yung complainant speak sir. properly yung complainant po okay you complainant? Com yes. Do what about have, the complainant? You, do we have complainants here in... Uh, Ang complainant nga, Pilipino, uh, people of the Philippines, kasi illegal possession of firearms and ammunition and explosives. So, dyan, no bail na sila dyan sa explosive. So, he will be investigated to that. If you're referring to the complainant of the Ponzi scheme, as I've said earlier, we are creating a speci special intelligence task group. We will assist them so that kung ano yung kaso nilang i-file, para makuha nila yung kwarta na nakamkam nitong Apolinario et al. Uh, we will assist them. Kasi for now, criminal case yung amin, implementation of the warrant of arrest for syndicated stapa 
and illegal possession of firearms and uh, explosive. No bail na yon, yung explosive. Plus, direct assault kasi lumaban sila sa police. Plus, illegal uh, association. Oh, dahil, uh, uh, this is a private army. Private armed group na to. So, he will be answerable to that in as much as Karaga 13 is concerned. As to the complaint, the Ponzi scheme, we will assist in the investigation as have ordered by our chief of the Philippine National Police. We will assist the complainant. Kahit naluoy man may, kahit mga daghang mga dreams ang nawala dahil dito sa mga kalokohan ito na ginagamit ang ginoo para makapangloko ng tao. Ministry! Dapat nag spread ng love yan, eh. hindi nag spread ng panluloko. Eh. Sabi ko nga sa kanya, hindi ka nalang istapador ngayon eh. Eh, ano ka pa eh? La, papatay ka pa ng tao? Ano sa man? Next question. Final question, sir. Uh, kailan daw yung uh, ibang mga scheme, investment scheme, kailan daw ang operation para sa kanila? O ongoing na ba kayo? Teka, teka. Ito yung press conference natin. Ano ba yung tinatanong mong ibang iba? Ito yung press conference natin. Uh, Kapa group. Can you clarify your question? Sino yes, pang group ay sinasabi mo? Yung... Uh, Meron kasi may forex at iba pang mga, mga investment team. Ah, hindi yun yung press briefing na to. Yung press briefing na to, isa ka pa international. Anyway, anybody who violates the law, rest assured that the Karaga police will go after them. Even if they possess tank, anti-tank, we have their uh, rapid, rocket propelled grenade. Buti hindi na iputok sa mga bata ko. Alam nyo ba yung rocket propelled grenade? Anti-tank yan. But uh, I'd like to clarify, this is a press conference for the rest of uh, Joel Abuntonon Apolinario Kapa Ministry. All other uh, uh, similar scheme uh, happening in Caraga, we will go against them. Uh, we are open for any complainant. Uh, I believe there are some already uh, operating in other parts of Caraga and there are other monitoring. Okay, Thank salaman, you. Sir. Thank you, Martin. Next is uh, Clyde Hikilan of Hope Radio. I mean, buntag sa tanan, uh, RD. Actually, sorry, haroon pa kung nakabot. Ako lang ipangutahan na RD, ha? Uh, since na may georganize nila nga, uh, ah, since may inorganisa sila na grupo, armado pa, since uh, effective na yung anti-terror law, pwede ba silang makasuhan ng uh, in-related sa anti-terror law natin? Uh, the new anti-terrorist bill uh, is uh, for publication uh, and uh, awaiting the uh, implementing rules and uh, IRR uh, regulation. But, per se, it is an approved law. We will look into it if this particular anti-terrorist act already, not ATB, it's already an act, it's a law that has been passed, uh, if they have violated uh, the AT, uh, anti-terrorist act. We will look into it. Follow up. Next, eh, Julius Lacerda of Brigada News, FM. Julius? Wala na? Wala na yung mga utana? Oh, Aysa Supas from Radio Trompeta? Sir, dagdag ko lang na tanong, sir. Uh, yung sinasabi ni PNP Chief kanina na $900,000 or $50 billion, Ano po yun, sir? Pera po ba yun ng kapa? At nasaan na po ngayon yun, sir? At ano pong uh, disposition ni Apolinari right after this, sir? Uh, these are uh, fact already in situation here. Uh, called from uh, previous events. Uh, anyway, we will be uh, distributing uh, press uh, release. These details are on that press release. So, that was that happened long time ago. And it was uh, established fact na parang na-check siya doon. Ito yung pera niya. These are uh, background there, situation there. Uh, however, we will uh, uh, be uh, giving a press release copy to the media. Okay, lastly, sir. Possibly ba, sir, na uh, from terrorist group ang mga armas or the anti-terrorism council will be declared them as terrorist groups, sir, since they are possessing this kind of high-powered firearms, sir? Yeah, I... Uh, that's why I said we will look into it kasi this anti-terrorist act is relative new, relatively new. Kaya nga, meron dyan tinatawag na designation, i-designate ka na, tapos si under surveillance ka. Pag na na you are conducting terroristic act, then you'll be uh, arrested for 14 days, extendable to 10 days. But uh, we will check, we will check if uh, they have violated the anti-terrorist act. But at this juncture, I'd like to just to remind that we will, the chief has promised to give awards 
And I'd like you to give my DRDA who is in charge of the SPAD B. Uh, ano ba gagawin natin niyan para mabigyan ng appropriate award? Thank you. Julius? Julius Lacerda of Brigada News? Okay. Excuse me, Julius. Jardy, sir. Good morning sa lahat. Uh, for for the benefit of uh, ng lahat, ang proseso, we, we will include uh, kung posible yung uh, special promotion for those who are involved. And uh, yun ang pinakamataas na pwede natin ibigay. And uh, i-recommend natin kagad sa, sa Chief Philippine National Police as instructed. So, uh, starting tomorrow, ay i-account namin kung sino yung mga involved na ating mga kapulisan. So, as, a, as the chairman of the special uh, promotions board, ng PRO 13 ay uh, magkukonvene kami kagad para maibigay yung kukulang award at saka promotion sa lahat ng mga involved. Uh, thank you. Going back to your question. Ano yung last question? Yes, Meron pa? Uh, Julius of Brigada News. Yes sir. Magandang umaga. Sir, sa ngayon ano pong disposasyon ni Pastor Joel kasi nalaman natin na yung wara to paris niya galing sa Cagayan de Oro at saka magkasama sir anong disposasyon ngayon? Arestado nga siya yung inisyo yung warrant of arrest para syndicated staff. Uh, bakit? Pero meron siya bagong kaso. Ito, illegal possession of firearms and explosive by virtue of the search warrant. So, uh, asun to siya ron, and the appropriate time, we will return the warrant also to the issuing judge of Cagayan de Oro. Uh, so, sino nga yung judge yan? Uh, by 11th Judicial Region Branch yun sa warrant search warrant anyway we will uh, return the the warrant of arrest no bail no bail naman siya doon eh dito sa implementation of uh, search warrant no bail din siya rito because of the explosion sir as a procedure na pailalim na ba sila sa rapid test ha napasa ilalim na ba to sa rapid test to mga nahuli o eh check din natin yan kaya nga ini-implement natin yung social distancing Hindi lang yun, papa, para pintest ko pa rin yan para malaman kung sino talaga sa kanila yung nagpaputok. Thank o you. yung ya, ano sa, ano, kumukulong wax yung kamay mo para malaman kung ano ka, kung nagpaputok ka ng baray. Yes, Raymond, Octobre, UNPB. Sir, sir, may iba pa po bang uh, mansion or hideout or rest house itong si Apolinario, sir, na pinititin po natin? At baka may uh, mga armas na po doon, sir, na mga nakatago pa. Ano daw? Marami yun, yung pinuntaan naming hautag, tatlo yun. Tapos yung dalawa, sub-target, tatlo. Napakalaki. So, kung meron pang, ewan ko, kung may iba pang Joel Apolinario, pero yung main target natin, si Joel Apolinario, nahuli na natin. Uh, as to kung meron siyang other uh, safe house, marami yun. Ang laki nung area. Concern, na search na natin.